Transformationstest.pdf. Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com. And today I'm going to go over geometry. Um, one of the most difficult things that a blind student can do because there's so many shapes uh, to feel and then they have to output graphs. So I'm going to tell you, yes, get 3D items so the student can feel this. Um, but now I'm going to take it a next step. So they've learned all this, they've learned the Nemeth code on it, and now they're going to learn how to output all this information in Excel. So uh, this is the way my students get their work. So the document is opened. It's a scanned image. Blank. And JAWS or blank. other talking software will just say blank. It cannot recognize anything in this document. So, uh, of course, a paraeducator or a teacher of the blind is going to uh, emboss this for a student. Now, for a beginner student, absolutely, but let's say they get all of this and now they just need to output it. So here is what my students do. Alt -tab. Uh, first Type of all, let's alt go ahead and alt -tab. Go Transformation unit all PDF that And the teacher has sent all this. PDFs, but they're actually scanned PDFs. So I have already uh, downloaded this Ali, dash, Google Drive, dash, to Mozilla, Firefox, read only, Drive, screen reader, announcement, text, read. and you do need to get into Drive in order to get all these apps. There are so many apps available that make uh, these documents accessible. Space, screen reader, announcement, text, read, and end. Okay, so uh, even though visually you're seeing that you're, you think you're in your list view, you are not, so insert F5. Select the form field dialog, list one, list view, search Drive, edit, and one of 20, to move the items, the F, folders, and views, preview. F folder grid view list box. List box. Enter. Enter. Folder grid view list box item. Transformations test dot PDF PDF two of thirty two. Okay, two of thirty two. Link transformations test dot PDF PDF. And I always double check that. So now I'm up and down. Transformations test dot transformations test dot PDF PDF. Brings you there. So what? Uh, the easiest way to do it is shift, shift tab, tab off. Main region folder grid view extended select list box. And transformations see how it pops test dot right there. It's uh you know it's just uh, one thing you just have to learn. So I'm on the transformation test that I want, and I'm going to go over transformation reflections and transitions here. And I'm going to hit my applications key. Applications. And I'm going to go down to open menu. Web. Open with sub menu. Now you're already going to notice a lot of apps. PD filler. That I have downloaded every anything that I need in order to make images into text. Converter. But the, the first Google Docs. Go to is Google Docs. I'm going to hit enter. enter. Leaving menus. No links. Transformations test dot PDF dash Google Docs dash Mozilla Firefox. Transformations test dot PDF dash Google Docs dash Mozilla okay. Firefox. Tab so panel transformations the first test dot thing that a person is going to see if you're visual as you think, well that didn't do any good. You just have an image in an image. You actually do not. So what I want you to do is down arrow. Blank. Name colon. And there it is. So what Google Docs actually does is it takes that image or scanned image Date colon. and it turns it into text. Now, what I have my students do is just to control A, and they're gonna copy that and ignore copy. Uh, now I have copy it selection on advanced clipboard. feedback. So JAWS is not going to give me that intricate detail of feedback like a beginner uh, mode. Alt tab, and I'm gonna go alt tab, alt tab, alt tab, document one dash Microsoft Word, document one paste. pasted, page eight. Now, what I want you to know is you always have a paste option, so you're going to hit your control Menu key, group, table, paste options, and you're going to hit T for keep text only, because you might as well go ahead and get rid of all those images, because it's just going to say blank, 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 or object, and it's not going to do a blind student any good, so now control home. Page one, top, blank. And here is all the data. Name, colon, date, colon, bell, colon, unit nine, coordinates, okay. directions, colon, so graph, and label, each give the new one. Triangle ABC and with it actually A tells you what you need to do. So let's just take that information and anything that uh, comes out like garbage, just know that it is an image. So let me go down to some garbage. And see two, X left, W, right parent, left parent, quote, X left parent, okay, doll, so that doll, is an right image parent. within the document. I just tell my kids, ignore that. Just stick with the data. And now they're going to go ahead and go into Excel after they have read that. Uh, and input that data. So now let's go ahead and go alt -tab, to transformation, alt -tab, alt -tab, alt -tab, Microsoft. Now, what I've done is, because uh, we're going to get fairly advanced here, is I've taken a little bit more advanced information here and went ahead and input it. So I'm going to just control home. Four, A1. And I've already input this data. Now, uh, they need to do a reflection of this, but they also need to do a horizontal line, which actually gives the reflection ability. Uh, so I'm going to select this data now. Select, 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 A1, 4, B13. So I've selected it and I need to insert a graph now. So we're going to do Alt N. Alt N, upper ribbon, insert tab, the change ribbon, D, lower ribbon, charts, group box, scatter, group box, scatter, group box, scatter with smooth lines, grid, 3 of 5, scatter with straight lines and markers, grid, enter, leaving menus. Now, 
uh, a blind student can only go this far because of course they cannot take a mouse to go in there and connect those last two lines. If you're visual, you'll actually see that it did a beautiful job of this trapezoid and it made a beautiful reflection of it. Now there's two things I have the students do before they go ahead and enlarge. So we need to go ahead and Upper go ribbon, to design our tab. Now. A, a, layout tab to change ribbon. And get rid of that legend. L, lower L. ribbon, labels, group box, legend, group box, none, 107, none. enter, leaving menus. So it, that Four, increases A1. the size of the graph right off the bat. And then they need to insert grid lines, horizontal grid lines, automatically insert. You need vertical grid lines also. So Alt J. A. Upper ribbon, J, A. And G for grid lines. G, tab, menu, lower ribbon, access, primary, primary vertical, vertical grid line, lower ribbon, access, group box, major grid lines, major two of four, lines. enter, leaving menus. And so now those Four, are A1. Inputted. Now, if, you're, if the student is low vision, and many students are, uh, they can go ahead and connect those last lines, and I do want them to learn that. Now, this is a pretty, this is only at 100%, so this is pretty small for most low vision, so let's go ahead and increase that so a low vision student can actually see how to uh, put, connect those last lines. So Alt-V. Alt-V, continue typing the Office Z, Zoom dialog, magnification, 100% radio button zoom, check, Alt-V, custom magnification, 1, 6, 0, 160, enter. Now the reason why I've chosen 160, because uh, my low vision kids and I have already troubleshooted this, is it makes the graph typically too big and it will outshoot. Now I have a very large monitor, so you're actually seeing a lot more than a typical monitor would. So now we need to go ahead and insert a line. So Alt J A. Upper ribbon J A. And we're going to do S H for shapes. Now remember, you have limited feedback because I have an advanced mode of Jaws. S H dash lower ribbon insert group box shapes group box read line grid two of eighteen to move through the controls on this ribbon. Use tab enter leaving menus four A one. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect those last lines. Now I just connected a line. I'm hit my application. Applications key. menu cut to move through and items. Press up format object dot 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 enter leaving menus format shape because fill object position in that tiny little line. Tab with colon okay, compound type colon dash type four. And hit four enter four pt and it makes a nice four, thick a line. Now this line happens to be a little bit thicker than the other one, but you know so what? If the kid wants to get really meticulous, they could choose exactly what it is, and it might be three. But that is uh, kind of a moot point. The teachers aren't really into that. They just want to see the kids do the reflections, transitions. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and we need to hit escape, escape and get out of that in order to go back to our graph. Now our graph is not selected because uh, we were actually inputting a line, so we need to reselect that graph. So Control G. Control G. Go to dialog. Alt Reference S. Alt S. Blank. Go to special dialog. Alt D. Objects rate enter. And our Copy of map with lines. Dot XLSX. G3. This works. And you'll notice at the very top, if you're sighted, chart tools has open design, layout, and format. That's the reason why we're doing Alt J A in order to actually graph this last bit. Uh, because we have moved around, we need to actually move the graph into position again so the student can do the last line. So all upper ribbon J A J chart tools group box and layout S H S H lower ribbon right insert line grid two of eighteen enter, enter leaving menus four A one put that last line in there and we're gonna hit our application menu key. cut format object dot 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 enter leaving menus format shape fill up tab with colon three. compound three enter three PT okay. and it makes it nice four, and, A1. and you can see three is the perfect. Uh, I Microsoft Excel copy of math with lines dot Excel S Alt Tab expression Alt Tab Microsoft Excel that Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and go up to our insert so we can insert a graph. Alt N. Alt N. Upper ribbon. Insert tab. The change P. Lower ribbon. Charts. Group box. Scat scatter with scatter with straight lines and enter leaving menus. And Minus once six, again, eight. it inputs all the lines, but that last line. So even the teacher and you know until Excel becomes more advanced to actually input every single line because it didn't even used to do this. Only low vision students can connect could connect those dots, but now it uh, inputs three lines out of four so the teacher can actually see this is a square once again a low vision student will go in they'll get rid of the legend they'll increase the size and they'll just connect that last line of dot so excel has really come a tremendous distance in enabling blind and low vision students to actually input these graphs and then input it into their work so they can hand it in and a teacher can actually see the student knows how to utilize Excel in order to do these graphs. So huge advancements uh, between your talking software, Google Docs, and uh, Excel. I hope you enjoyed that. Now go practice.